YouTube. What's going on? It's Rob from Fuzzy Motion. Thanks for stopping by. We uh we got a little team deathmatch for you. Some AK-74U, some Hardline, some Hardened, and Attack Mass Pro. Now this was right after we got the PSN network back, and uh, I think I just prestiged, so a lot of things aren't unlocked yet, or uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. You notice a lot of people playing very defensively, because uh, you know just it's been a while, and you know nobody was running around going nuts. Um, but uh, you'll, you'll notice that as the game goes on. Anyway. I got some things I want to talk about. Uh, this is a long video, so we got some time. But uh, hey, first thing, Anthony Weiner, guys, this has got to stop. Okay, we've got to stop giving this guy like any attention at all. He's like the boogeyman. The more you talk about him, the the more infamous he becomes. And and, and not to to talk about like my own personal adventures or anything like that. You know, people people do that sort of stuff where you know they take pictures of themselves. It's nothing new. It's happened before cell phones. Uh, I just want to put it out there, like, you know, he, he's a politician, he should have better standards than that, uh, definitely to put himself in a situation like that, we just need to stop talking about it, so, like, let's make a pact right now, right here, that, uh, you know what, Wienergate, it's over, it's done with, whatever, guy took a picture of a schlong, took a picture of himself, you know, sent some girls, nothing different from what you'd see on Facebook, I'm telling you that right now, and girls, you're just as guilty of it. The pictures he took of himself on his phone were no different than any of the things you could see on Facebook right now. If you go ahead and scroll through your friends list, I'm sure you'll find a few girls saying, Oh, just at the beach, yay, ha 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 ha. And nobody would think twice about it, but as soon as you get a text message from some sort of congressman, it's a big deal. And so what if he's married? Okay, yeah, he was planning on meeting up with a few of those girls, and I understand that that's not, that's not kosher at all. But, uh, you know, as far as, like, sending text or whatever... You know, it, it's kind of on par with uh, with going to a strip club, in my opinion. You know, if uh, as, as long as you're, you're not touching, you know, you're not sampling the goods, you can look but you can't touch, that sort of thing. Although, I am not married, so I'm going to stop right there. Anyway, uh, try to get this guy down around the corner. He decides to go around the front, and uh, I try to cut him off, but somebody already did. So I look up in the window, and hey, what's going on? Welcome, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I'm carrying an AK-47. Oh, 74 years. Excuse me. All right. Next thing I want to talk about, uh, as you guys know, we're doing the uh, Fuzzy Motion Presents series, and that's pretty much uh, me and my partner Sweeney uh, doing a little bit of uh, of uh, movie reviews. Uh, right now, we're about uh, getting to the second part of the Spielberg reviews. And uh, have to start catching up on some of those movies. Some movies uh, I've seen before as a kid, uh, but a lot of the movies I haven't seen um, at all. In the second chance I just bend down. His buddy walks in right afterwards to clean up after me. God damn it. But whatever. Um, there are the movies I haven't seen. Um, like, believe it or not, Indiana Jones. I didn't see that as a kid growing up. And I'm so pissed because they're awesome movies. And I just wish somebody would have taken me aside and been like, you need to watch these. Because I would have been totally an Indiana Jones freak. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably were out there. Uh, you know, if you were, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those movies are awesome. Indiana Jones is a total badass. Um, he's got a whip. He's got a fedora. He's got an awesome, you know, jacket. Girls love him. He's smart. Uh, he's looking for gold. And he just beats the shit out of people. Uh, and, you know, on top of all that, like, he's doing it when he's, you know, in the 60s. Like, the, the newest movie that came out, uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. He's still doing it. He probably should be in a walker or something, but he's he's still walking around kicking ass and taking names. That didn't stop. Uh, one of the movies that I watched recently, uh, Color Purple, that, whoa, holy shit, that movie, um... Definitely, definitely. And when you see the review, you, you know what I'm talking about. That movie definitely uh, was a little crazy. Hit home. Uh, not because, you know, I, I know anybody that's been domestically abused. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it, it seems more tangible than the other movies. You know, the other movies have, like, some sort of fantasy element to them. Where just, they, they don't seem... They don't seem as uh, as realistic as uh, this movie did. I, this one just seemed so much more plausible and awful. Um, that being said, I did laugh out loud when Whoopi Goldberg got smacked in the face one of the last times when she was reading her sister's uh, her sister's letters. Um, 
<laughs> and I felt bad at first when I laughed because I didn't laugh at the other ones. I thought those were awful. Uh, covering my mouth. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. She's getting the shit kicked out of her. She doesn't deserve this. And then at the very end, you know, you think things are moving along. She's starting to read her sister's letters. And then here comes, you know, Enemy Danny Glover. Boom! Right across the face. Totally unexpected. I busted out laughing. I couldn't help myself. If I were in a movie theater, people would have turned around and looked at me like I was some sort of asshole. Which I was. But <laughs> it's just too funny to lay off. Um, and the funny part is, uh, Sweeney had told me about the part that he laughed out loud at. He didn't tell me what it was. I mean, it ended up being <laughs> the exact same fucking part <laughs> that I'm talking about right now. Uh, I just find that very funny. Uh, <laughs> it's just out of nowhere. She's reading a letter, having a good time, and then all of a sudden, boom! Right in the face. Bloody nose and everything. You gotta save me, woman! Uh, by the way, ladies, you know, ab abusive relationships are, are no fun. And, uh, you know, on a serious note, if, if you know anybody like that, you know, get them out of it. If, if, if your boyfriend's anything close to, to um, Danny Glover in that movie, just be stay out of that. And they get a shank right there. Man, I've been shanking a lot of people. Uh, speaking of shanking, Whoopi Goldberg definitely should have shanked her husband in that friggin' movie. Uh, definitely towards the end, I was hoping she would uh, she would give him the old Sweeney Todd and slit his friggin' neck from ear to ear. Um, by the way, if you've seen that movie, if you haven't seen that movie, go check it out. But if you have, can somebody please explain to me how um, how her buddy knew that she was going to attempt murder at that very moment? I, I must have missed something. I asked Pat, too, and he said the same thing. He didn't know how she suddenly, out of nowhere, got the idea that she was going to kill him. I don't know. Very strange, but, uh, yeah, it just didn't make sense to me. So if anybody can explain that to me, uh, I'd be very grateful. How did how did her friend know, uh, the singer, how did the friend know that she, at that very moment, was about to murder or attempt to murder her husband? Don't know. A lot of good stuff happens in that movie. A lot of good stuff. First ten, uh, first 30 minutes are like the first 10 minutes up. It's very depressing, and it's just like, holy shit. Come on, movie, I want to make it through the whole thing. Not just, you know, not the first 20 minutes. I almost had to reach for the, the Kleenex, it was bad. And I'm not, I'm not normally like that. You know, it's a movie, for Christ's sake. But, uh, it's definitely like, wow. If you can sit through that and... Uh, laugh from beginning to end. There's something wrong with you. Uh, you might be, you know, you might be a serial killer. I think that's how they should test to see if people are, you know, socially disconnected or not. Show them the color purple. If they laugh through more than, I want to say, ten minutes of the movie, go get them help because they need. Really care package of um, <laughs> There's something deeply wrong with those individuals. Uh, and I call in a care package here, and uh, you're gonna see what I get in just a moment. A lot of people talk about this uh, kill streak as if it doesn't do a lot, but we get the Rolling Thunder. Um, and as I pulled up the map, I think I had a, a spy plane out. And I, or no, I don't. I don't think I did. And I just called it, and I hoped it would do some uh, damage. The cool thing about Rolling Thunders is that, um, unlike Napalms, they come in so quickly that the enemy doesn't have a chance to adjust and run away. So that's why they are, you know, very beneficial. Plus, you know, the carpet bomb that they provide is a very long uh, range for you, for you to get. I mean, you could get from one side of uh, West Berlin over here to the other with a single carpet bomb. And the best thing is, you know, even if they know it's coming, some most of the time they don't have uh, a chance to get out of the way. The other thing is, if they don't have Flak Jacket Pro, even if they're in buildings, um, they manage to get killed sometimes. I know I've been killed by a few uh, Rolling Thunders. Uh, just because, you know, it was right on top of my position and, you know, I was even laying down and the damn down. thing still managed to kill me because it was that powerful. Uh, the other Rally thing I want to talk about is uh, video quality, guys. We're trying hard to uh, step up our production here and make this a more professional affair. Uh, we're getting an HD uh, camera, professional Rally camcorder. Uh, but those things are expensive, man. Enemy those things are expensive. We're investing in a, in a Panasonic with a shotgun mic. Uh, and an XLR adapter um, for a little bit under two grand. Uh, and, you know, we, we've been doing our homework, looking at JMD, looking at BNR, talking to a few people that work in, uh, you know, TV production or stuff like that. They said it's good uh, equipment. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations, please, please, you know, feel free to comment, you know, drop us a line. We'd love to know what your feedback is. 
We want to make this more high quality. We want to make this more enjoyable for you. Uh, and uh, that's really all that matters. You know, you the viewer, you the subscriber. Uh, um, big ups to the subscribers, by the way. Uh, subscribers are a big part of uh, YouTube. And uh, all 11 of you at this point. Very appreciated. So there you go, 7,400 to 6,100. Um, I don't take first place, uh, but I do have the best uh, KD ratio, which, you know, kind of means a big thing. Uh, 20 and 6, or 20 and, I can't read that, it looks like 20 and 5. Alright, it's your boy Rob, and I'm out. See ya.